John Schaefer, guitarist for the metal band Iced Earth, is wanted by the FBI. We've got this story and more because it's the frickin' news. Hey everybody out there, I'm doing something I never thought I'd be doing in a million years. Two episodes of the frickin' news in one frickin' week. If you like the show, hit the subscribe button. Now, the last time I did one of these was a couple of years ago when Jared Threaten thought it would be a great idea to bullshit his way onto a European tour. But a lot of shit went down recently and I thought the big story of the week was going to be Gibson buying Mesa Boogie. I was literally rendering that video out when the news hit about the US Capitol being stormed by an angry mob of Donald Trump supporters. <laughs> Now this is some really serious shit and is normally outside the scope of this channel. I do music and I really don't want to talk about the US election, it's kind of been done to death. That is, until Iced Earth guitarist John Schaefer popped up on the FBI's Twitter feed. Seriously John, what the fuck were you thinking? So to bring you all up to speed, some very angry people upset by the election results and egged on by claims of voter fraud, which were never proven in a court of law despite numerous lawsuits, breached the US Capitol security in an attempt to derail the electoral college vote to certify Joe Biden as the next president. They delayed it, but did not succeed. Biden will be president and everybody will be able to vote on him in four years. Now, the thing about breaking into the Capitol in an attempt to intimidate the people elected to govern is that the place has security cameras everywhere. And as a surprise to absolutely no one, not many of the people who did the breaking in were wearing masks. Even though this is one of the few times in history where wearing a mask is completely acceptable, except with this crowd because freedom. Then again, I can't say I'm completely surprised that those who refuse to accept the basic science behind communicable disease and the fact that the ICUs across North America are filling up would be all too accepting of the notion that the guy they voted for lost fair and square. It's a conspiracy, I tell ya! Seriously though, calm down. As a Canadian, I really don't have a horse in this race. Biden or Trump, I really don't care. It would have been cool, however, if you guys could have had an election without bashing a cop's head in with a fire extinguisher. Now, I am no fan of the cops, but nobody, and I mean nobody, deserves to be killed on the job either. And if you use violence to make your point, then that point is worthless. So we get a violent siege at the Capitol, five deaths total, and John Schaefer from Iced Earth's face on the FBI Twitter feed. Of course, with no mask. Here's the tweet. FBI WFO is seeking the public's assistance in identifying those who made unlawful entry into the U.S. Capitol building on January 6th. If you witnessed unlawful, violent actions, contact the FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Now this really reminds me of a song that I think we all know. John Schaefer from the band Iced Earth, the fans will throw the book at you. Yeah, here's the thing about being the guitar player in a famous band. People might recognize you, especially when you're caught on camera bringing into the Capitol. Did this slightly inconvenient fact even dawn on you? What I don't understand is this. What possible good was going to come out from all of this? Break into a federal facility, stop a critical vote that democracy depends on, and what? You're just going to walk away without any consequences? And here's the metal connection with all of this. My friends in Witherfall just did a record with John. He's got a production credit on it. Now, I reached out to Joseph Michael, the vocalist from the band, for a comment, and he said that after speaking to the group's lawyer that they're unable to make a statement at this point. However, that may change in the future. Now, what's more, I met John at the Demons and Wizards show in Toronto in 2019, and he seemed like an extremely nice guy. Monster guitar player, too. I really enjoyed that show, it was very entertaining. So here's my thoughts on the matter. If you're an Iced Earth fan, don't throw all your records out just yet. Let cooler heads prevail and wait to see how this plays out. We have all done some really stupid shit in life, myself included. Okay, maybe not that fucking stupid, but nobody's perfect. Now, if you're upset about the election, let your voice be heard because that's how democracy works. 
everybody has a say. And by all means, go out and protest if that's what you feel is the right thing to do. But bear this in mind, the people who voted for the other side are not the enemy. People with different opinions are not evil and shouldn't be hated for having a different opinion. Social media is great, but it does have a dark side and it's created echo chambers where different ideas are shouted down and deviation from groupthink is despised. I've certainly encountered enough of it on metal production groups because I tend to prefer real drummers and unedited performances. And when I bring that up, the fury is palpable. Now, in my own experience, once we stop yelling at each other, calm down, and actually talk to one another, we find more common ground than we expected. It's certainly a lot more productive than, you've got a different opinion from me, Glenn, I'm done subscribing. I've certainly heard that one way too many times over the years. People will have all sorts of different opinions. Fucking get over it. Now, the other big story of the week was, of course, Gibson buying Mesa, and I've already covered that subject in an earlier video. I'll link to that one in the description. And, of course, Alexi Leo, formerly of Children of Bodom, passed away at the age of only 41. Now, this story is a case of I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't, mainly because I haven't listened to enough Bodom to really have an opinion. But I do know that the guy was a guitar genius, had a huge fan base, and the world is a crappier place without him. And if I don't mention it, you guys are going to get really pissed off. Seriously, though, for some awesome Bodum content, please head on over to 66 Samus's channel. He's got some amazing Bodum drum covers. All right, that's it for this episode of the Frickin' News this week. If you guys want to see more episodes like this, please let me know. Now, I used to do the Week in Metal over on the Metal Sucks channel, and I've been kicking around the idea of resurrecting a news show for this channel. If you guys like it, hit the subscribe button and let me know. I'll do more.